And so my, my point is very simple. Zero Jews live in the Palestinian areas, okay. the, the Palestinians control. 20% of Israelis are Arab. Okay. They have complete equality. If you actually go to Israel, yeah. all the signs are in Arabic and Hebrew. Okay. Their rights are completely protected. Okay. They have complete equality. I... So if you want to talk yeah. about ethnic cleansing, do you mind you if 20% I... of Israelis are Arab, zero Palestinians do you are mind, Do you want to do timing? Because I feel here that you've taken a bit more time. So I'll just respond to you anyways. This is an unbelievable, ridiculous claim that you've just made here. The Gaza Strip is blockaded. The, 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 there is a blockade on the on, on the Gaza Strip. People cannot go in and not come out. You're talking about Jews don't live in uh, Israel. That's only after 2005 where Ariel Sharon decided to take the, the settlements, which were illegal settlements according to UN, illegal settlements according to the international community. Not one country recognized them in Gaza or the West Bank. Ariel Sharon decided to take those last individuals that lived in the Gaza Strip out of the Gaza Strip in 2005. What you're saying is, Actually, there's no Jews living in uh, Gaza. What a ridiculous claim to make. No Palestinian can come out of Gaza or can come into Gaza. You're talking about no Jews coming into Gaza as if it's some kind of tourist resort which stops Jews from coming in because of some anti-discrimination -discri uh, law. How ridiculous are the claims that you're making, my friend? That's point number one. Point number two, you're talking about eth ethnic cleansing. He's here talking about ethnic cleansing. Tell me what ethnic cleansing means to you. For me, ethnic cleansing could either mean one of two things genocide and or expulsion from the land now you have to explain to me how it is that palestinians who lived in palestine could possibly ethnically cleanse a jewish immigrant community who came from europe that makes no sense in any way shape or form unless you think as biblical scholars uh, that you and i both know would say do think that actually those individuals that are the Jews have an inherent biblical uh, uh, right to the homeland, which is that your opinion, you can explain that in your rebuttal. So if you do think that, then you can potentially make a case for ethnic cleansing. But otherwise, it's the most ridiculous, absurd comment that you could make in this discussion right here and right now. Especially considering also that almost every two years or every once in a while, periodically, you find that the, the ID, uh, Israeli Defense Forces, the IDF, and they attack and bombard the already blockaded uh, Gaza Strip. In, 2000 and, uh, in 2006, they attacked Lebanon. In 2014, they attacked... Uh, uh, in 2008, they attacked Gaza. In 2014, they attacked Gaza. And knowing full well that there is a discrepancy and disparity in the strength and the size of the military capabilities of either the Gazans and or comparative to the IDF. That is what you call ex ethnic cleansing. That is a systematic ethnic cleansing which started before the before the establishment of the state of israel in 1948 and continues until this day and is only accu acquiesced to by the political elites because of the israeli lobby and other such forces which act as a crippling force for those who want to speak the truth now you can have your opportunity to speak the truth right here and now or you can decide to be as racist and i'm going to use the word racist and completely unfair in terms of your uh, your your analysis as you have been in in considering that there's been an ethnic cleansing of Jewish people and not an ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. It seems like you don't want to open your eyes to what's happening to Palestinian people. You can only have that belief. You can only have that position if you yourself value Jewish blood more than Muslim or Palestinian blood.